Have you ever wondered what true love is? Is it selfless, painful, or transformative? Radha, a central figure in Hindu mythology, is often seen as a symbol of divine love. But what if I told you that Krishna Dharbasi, through his novel Radha, raises a question that challenges everything we think we know about this iconic character? In today's summary of Radha, we are going to dive deep into this modern interpretation of Radha's life, exploring her story in a way that challenges conventional ideas. Could Radha's journey be a reflection of our own struggles for love, identity, and meaning? In many ways, we are all like Radha, trying to find meaning in love, trying to make sense of a world that doesn't always give us clear answers. As we explore this story, I want you to think about your own life. What would you do if faced with Radha's dilemmas? And what does this story tell us about ourselves? The novel begins with a version of Radha we may not be familiar with. Unlike the mythological character bound to a divine love with Krishna, this Radha is a human woman, grounded in reality, who is grappling with her own desires and dilemmas. She is in love with Krishna, but their relationship is not the romanticized, divine love we often hear about. It's complicated, filled with questions, doubts, and pain. Radha constantly asks herself, Am I just a shadow of Krishna's life, or am I more than that? Krishna, in this novel, is not just a godly figure. He is human, and his love for Radha is as much about his needs as it is about hers. This portrayal creates an interesting tension. Does Krishna truly love Radha, or is Radha just a pawn in his greater destiny? As Radha's love for Krishna deepens, so does her suffering. The villagers start to question her morality, her worth, and soon Radha begins to question herself. Is this love worth it? Is she simply losing herself in the process? In today's world, many of us can relate to Radha's situation. Think about a time when society's judgment made you question your own relationships. Have you ever felt like you had to prove your love to the world? even though it was deeply personal to you? What does that feel like? The story reaches its climax when Radha confronts Krishna about the true nature of their relationship. This is not the Radha who worships Krishna blindly. This is a woman who demands answers. Who is she, if not Krishna's lover? Does her existence mean anything outside of her love for him? Radha's confrontation isn't just about love. It's about identity. She has been defined by Krishna for so long that she no longer knows who she is without him. This leads her to the ultimate question, can love that consumes you be true love, or is it simply another form of bondage? We've all seen this, haven't we? A friend, maybe even ourselves, getting lost in a relationship. Their dreams, their identity, everything revolves around another person. But here's the real question, is that really love? or is it dependence? Radha's decision to leave Krishna shocks the villagers, shocks Krishna himself, but most of all, it shocks Radha. For the first time, she is choosing herself over love. So, what does Radha's journey teach us? The novel Radha by Krishna Dharbasi is not just a reinterpretation of a mythical love story. It's a powerful commentary on identity, self-worth, and the sacrifices we make in the name of love. It asks us, can we truly love someone if we lose ourselves in the process? Radha's choice to walk away is as painful as it is liberating. She chooses herself, but at the cost of everything she once knew. In a way, it mirrors real-life decisions many of us face when love becomes toxic or suffocating. In today's world, we often see stories of people reclaiming their lives after years of being defined by someone else. But Radha's story reminds us, that while the journey may be painful, choosing yourself is always the right choice. So, next time you find yourself asking, am I more than this relationship, remember Radha's story. Love is beautiful, but it should never cost you your identity. And that, perhaps, is the true message behind the title Radha. To find love, you must first find yourself. If you enjoyed this summary and want to dive deeper into Radha's journey, make sure to pick up the book yourself. It's a story that will make you think, question, and reflect on your own relationships. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating book summaries and philosophical explorations. 
We've got plenty more stories to uncover together.